Today I'll be reviewing the 1982 slasher Death Valley. And the movie is about a divorced mother and her little son, Billy, and they're traveling from New York to Death Valley, Arizona, where she's from, and she's going to meet up with her high school sweetheart, and she's basically going to try to start a whole new life. And so they go to Death Valley, Arizona, and they meet Mike, which is uh, the mother's high school sweetheart, and, you know, they're all getting along like they didn't miss a beat, and, you know, young Billy's all confused because his parents just got divorced, and in the very beginning of the film, you see Billy with his father, and, you know, the father's like, you know, just give this guy a fair chance, it'll be okay, you know, I'll still come and visit you and all that kind of good stuff. And, but Billy's still confused, and he's not really too sure of Mike. Mike's trying to, you know, do the best he can and try to be, you know, buddy-buddy with little Billy. And little Billy's giving him the stink eye. He's like, I don't know about you, buddy. I like my daddy. And, you know, that's kind of his retort for everything that uh, Mike says. He's like, oh, my dad is a professor at Princeton and, you know, this and that. And, you know, you could tell Mike is getting a little frustrated because he's trying to bond with Billy, but Billy's not giving him a chance. But they're driving through Death Valley, and they decide to stop off in the valley. And while the parents are talking, Billy decides to go, you know, explore around, and he sees a, uh, like, a trailer home camper, and he goes inside, he doesn't see anybody inside, but he sees this little necklace with a charm on the end of it, and he picks it up and puts it in his pocket, and then Mike sees him and says, you can't come in here, you know, this is somebody's, you know, private trailer, you can't just come in, and he says, oh, okay, and they go off. And after that, they go to the hotel, and they have some food at the restaurant at the hotel, and one of the servers there is wearing the same necklace with the same charm. And little Billy notices it, and he kind of, you know, freezes up. He's, I guess he's thinking he doesn't want to get caught or anything. Uh, but after they finish the meal, they end up going back on the road, and they're stopped. And there's the sheriff out there. And the sheriff's asking everybody questions. And you see the, the motorhome that they saw earlier is off in the middle of the road. And it apparently crashed, and everybody inside, you know, passed away. And you come to find out the three people from the motorhome were actually all murdered. And, you know, that was just kind of a stage setup to look, make it look like it was an accident. And, you know, Billy decides to, you know, that he stole the necklace from the camper which is actually a really touching and cute scene and so he gives that information to the sheriff and he says you know I saw this guy at the hotel the waiter he had the same uh, necklace on and so the sheriff is like oh thank you so much and then from there the killer actually finds out that little Billy you know has found the necklace and that he might know who he is and so the killer sets out to kill Billy and then from there, it's all about trying to avoid the killer and not being another one of his victims. And this is one that I really loved as a kid growing up, and I never hear anybody talk about it. I think it's a very underrated slasher film. It's a horror gem, in my opinion, an 80s horror gem. And it has a great cast. You have Wilford Brimley as the sheriff. You have uh, Peter Billingsley as little Billy, who is in uh, A Christmas Story. And you have Catherine Hicks, who is in uh, Child's Play, and she's the mother in Seventh Heaven as well. And you have Stephen McCaddy, which is just an excellent actor. He's been in tons of movies. Stephen McCaddy is definitely one of my favorite actors. He was in uh, Watchmen. He was in uh, Pontypool. He's been in just tons of movies, and he was in this as well. And he was just really creepy as the killer. Just a subtle creepiness to him while he's singing in the car at one point, kind of like humming along and Billy's hiding behind in the back seat, you know, trying not to get caught. Oh, such an excellent, intense scene, very palpable, and it's just totally creepy, just how subtle he is. It's just really direct and just very simple, and it really works. And there's a twist to this movie, but I think most people can see it coming. I was able to see it coming way back in the day. I was like, oh, let me, let me guess, this is going to fold out this way, and it did. And, you know, even though I could figure that part out, once the big reveal happens, I really enjoyed that scene. It really worked well. And again, Stephen McCaddy, definitely perfect casting. Great casting with everybody involved. And there's some really tense moments all throughout the movie, especially when they're trying to find Billy and they're inside the house and things are being thrown through the window. That scene was definitely very palpable and tense. And all the actors really played their roles just perfectly. I feel like Death Valley is a very underrated slasher film, and the killer's car in this is just a really cool car, very ominous, very fitting for it as well, and the score is just excellent, just really fits the movie, just adds some tension to it too. And then in contrast, there's certain scenes where there's no sound at all, it's just some of the tense moments that are happening, and it is a slasher movie, there is very little blood, uh, it's mostly just some necks being cut and things like that, there's a little bit of blood, but you don't need a lot of blood to make a great slasher film, and the tension in here really works well. And this movie definitely has an 80s feel to it. Uh, at one point you see little Billy playing with a Simon Says and that definitely really brought me back to my childhood. Lots of great moments in this one. Definitely very enjoyable. And then there's another part too with the babysitter which I thought was hilarious. The babysitter is like this portly girl and she's eating, you know, 
potato chips, a candy bar, all kinds of stuff, and she's making all kinds of noise while she's eating, messing with the wrappers, and little Billy's trying to watch this uh, old classic western on TV, and you can tell he's getting annoyed. And the mother gave the babysitter uh, money to get a uh, ice cream, because little Billy loves ice cream, and you know she's going to take some of the ice cream too, so she goes to get ice cream. And I just thought that whole scene was really funny, how she's eating all this and, you know, Billy's trying to watch the TV show. Definitely some humorous moments, some really good dialogue in here as well. Great casting, like I said before. And, you know, little Peter Billingsley as Billy, just such an adorable little kid. And then there's another scene when they're in the Wild West Museum. I thought that was a really cool scene as well. And in that particular scene, you know, little Billy, he's playing along because you can shoot different people in the, the whole Wild West little museum that they go to. And, you know, people pretend to be little gunfighters and stuff like that. And so Billy sees a guy you know wearing a little handkerchief thing around his face you know with the gun and he says a line that's very similar for one of his lines from a Christmas story he says I thought I told you never come around here again Black Bart and Black Bart was uh, one of the characters in a Christmas story which I thought was very funny I thought there was a really neat connection in there uh, Death Valley was actually made a year before a Christmas story but I really like that aspect with uh, Peter Billingsley the same actor in both movies uh, having very similar lines with the same character Black Bart for me, it's one of my childhood favorites, and it's one of my all-time favorite slasher movies. Absolutely love this one. And again, if you're into 80s slashers, I would highly recommend checking out Death Valley. And I would rate Death Valley an 8 out of 10 stars. It still holds up well, in my opinion, and it's definitely one I would recommend. And if you've seen Death Valley, definitely let me know what you think of it. Leave me a comment or video response down below. Hope everyone's doing well. Take care.